quick little video. I'm going to replace the screen on this Samsung A12. Now this has got a, as you can see, a broken screen here. I hope you can see that. And I have a replacement LCD here. So you can get different versions. You can get like an LCD or you can get one with the frame as well. So you have to strip out all the componentry inside the back and fit that to the new frame. Which can be easier, but it costs a bit more for the frame, what have you. But I just like to do the screen itself and just pull it apart and or clean up the edges and stuff like that. But we'll get to that. So I've got my heater here running at 55 degrees. I've had the phone on here already, it's going to put it back on to warm up some more. And what we'll do is we'll eject the SIM card. I think this SIM card's already out of it, but it's just got the actual holder in there. We'll eject that out, take the rear casing off, dismantle the inside, then we'll split the screen off it and clean it all up, put the new one on. It sounds pretty simple. It should be if it goes well. You need some glue though. You have to glue the stuff back on again. Yeah. All right, let's get the uh, SIM card holder out first. Use an injection tool. Nothing in it. Now we have to get this back panel off. So we need to get a spudger in there. And now we've got a theory about how I can get in here. We've got the port in the bottom here. You can just kind of get to the casing here. There we go. And that's just pulling the casing away slightly. Now get my bigger spudger. Shove it down there. Then we can pop that out. And we should be able to work this around it, hopefully. Without putting too much stress on things. Come on. Here we go. Gotcha. Because it clips on, you see. So I'm just trying to unclip it. I've got one corner off. There we go. Let's go this way. There's actually a flex over here from these buttons. So you have to be careful about that. I just want to try and walk it around if I can. There we go. It's going to work. The flex is over there. So I've got to be careful not to damage that. It should be fine. For some reason it's not wanting to unclip from over here. We'll get it there. Hopefully. And it will pop off. There we go. Right. Fold this up. Pop the flex off, so we don't damage it. There we go, put that to one side. And there's the inside. We have to remove this cover here, disconnect the battery, disconnect the screen, got to remove this cover here. This is the screen flex, one of them, there's another flex under here. Got to take all these screws out. Then we can pop these off, and then we can start looking at getting the screen off it. Let's get these screws out first. I've got these cheap little screwdrivers that come with screen replacement kits. And they usually actually work all right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is disconnect the battery. It's always a wise thing to do. So I'm gonna use these little cheap screwdrivers that come with the kit because just give them a go. Sometimes they're actually not too bad. You know, every single screen you buy comes with these little screwdriver sets basically. Some are rubbish, some are right. Obviously I was using a proper screwdriver, this would be easier. In fact, I probably will change a proper screwdriver. That's all those out. So this cover here needs to come off now. There we go. Now we can unplug the battery. Unplug the screen. Now we take this cover off. In fact, this looks like it's got a little bit of liquid damage in the bottom here. This looks like it's got wet. There's a bit of corrosion on these screws down here. So I'm going to change to a better screwdriver. All these screws are the same size, so it doesn't matter. You have to keep track of which one's which, which is good. Unlike some other phones, like iPhones, which have like a mixture of a whole bunch of different size screws and you get them in the wrong place you can damage your logic board on your phone and you end up with a dead phone or some other kind of fault. I do like the fact that these aren't all different sizes or universal sizes. So you've got this little cover here which also needs to pop off. It's clipped on as well so you've got to try and get the clips or somewhere where it will clip on. There we go. There's a gap. Still clipped though so just trying to get into there we go. There's that cover. Yeah, there is a bit of liquid damage in here. I think I'll give that a clean up too. See all this stuff over here? It's all looking a bit dodgy. Leave it over there too. Yeah, this board's not great. I'll give it a clean up. Here's the other flex you've got to undo. That one here. It goes to the screen as well. And I'll clean all this up. So I'll get a little bit of IPA on this. And a soft brush. Try and get it to pick it all up. Yeah, still be some grime coming off. Hopefully it's not causing any damage. It looks like it's just slight surface corrosion. It doesn't look too serious yet. It's probably a good thing I'm doing a screen replacement on it. It may not have lasted much longer if it didn't get cleaned up. It's definitely looking better. Still some there. Still a little bit of residue around here. I'll clear this some more cleaning and I'll come back. I've had my heating block here for a while. And it's warmed up slightly now, again. And now I've got to try and get under here to separate the screen from the bezel. 
and obviously where it's got the broken bits it's going to be a bit more interesting. I'm trying to use this really thin spudger to get underneath it to get it started. But because these are actually glued on, it makes it a little bit trickier. But once you get in there, there we go, spudger's in. Then we can just run it around it, like this. And it will make some progress. Obviously this bit where it's broken is a bit harder. Try and run it down there as much as I can. Cut through the glue in the back if I can. The same this side. Yeah, that side. Obviously, it's all going to need cleaning up once I've finished. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going around the edge now, cleaning it up, getting all this stuff off it. Very important you do that. Otherwise, like I say, when you put the new screen on and press it down, if there's anything there sitting a bit high, you know, a bit of glass or a bit of old sealant or something, it will crack the new screen, and you don't want that to happen. The camera I'll clean afterwards because you can take out the back from over here. I'll clean it after I've put it back together. Double checking here, make sure there's no bits floating around. Get some of this glue. I mean, you get this stuff comes with it, it's B7000 stuff, which is fine. Often they'll give you little bits of glue, which is fine, you just use that. But I've got this stuff, which actually works really well too. Alright, just put the glue around it. It's got a little, little groove right around the outside. Should help to actually get it in. Don't forget the glue is the only thing that holds the screen on. Okay, now this particular glue goes off quite quickly. We've only got a few minutes, so let's quickly peel this off. We do have time, not to panic too much, but we've got to peel this off. Fold these down, like that. Lift this up so it will go through. Don't kink it, just bend it nicely. If you kink it, you'll probably break it. Fold this through here, and then the other one through the other slot, bed the screen in, make sure it all lines up right round, make sure this is clean, put it back down, that should plug in here, like that, this will plug in here, like that, Let's just push this down again on the screen, Double check it's bedding in okay. Now let's give us a wipe. Get the worst of the glue off. Like I said, this glue does give you a little bit of working time. It's not a huge amount, but it's enough. You can always clean it off afterwards anyway. It's not really a big deal, but it's easier to clean it off whilst it's still a bit soft and you know still going off. Yeah, that looks good. Get out of the way. Now let's clean this camera up. Clean these cameras up as well. I need to put this one up first, but I can probably do put this bottom cover on first actually. We'll do that one. Right, bottom cover, we we'll screw that one in. So before I put our top cover on, I'll pull this camera out, give it a clean. Once I've got that cover on, then I'll clean the other cameras and then we can put the back back on. Okay, that's all those ones. So let's pull this out, give us a clean. Just make sure there's no little bits on there. Okay. Put that bag in. It's purely precautionary, it could have been absolutely fine, but best to do it anyway. What I'm going to do, because you're supposed to put this battery back in here, but I don't like to plug batteries in with Flex is still not plugged in. So what I'm going to do is get the rear cover, plug this Flex in first. So we're not trying to plug a Flex in with the power on. Leave that folded over, because it does allow for that. Now we'll fit this one on. I'm pretty sure someone's been here before us anyway. Things just feel a bit odd on it, anyway. There we go. Then we clean the cameras up, put the back panel back on, and we're done. Okay, clean these cameras as well. And also in the actual casing as well. OK, 
Okay, that's ready to go back on. That should be basically it. Let's power it up. Looks like I've got to clean the rest of this glue off. A little bit of residue on the sides. Not a big deal. Fingernail will do it quite nicely once it's dried. It's fine, this certainly does take a long time to boot up. Could be because I pulled the power. Battery is 60% and yep, here we go. Working. Touch is working. Alright, it's good. Really got to draw a pattern to turn the phone off. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Anyway, it's done. One screen replacement. From this to this. Check out other links down below for other things. Subscribe over there if you're not already subscribed. Patreon support link over there if you want to support the channel. Bye.